So do you think that's a legitimate concern if maybe one day most babies are born with I, uh, with uh, embryo selection and every parent is in an arms race to get the smartest baby possible? Do you think that there's a problem where we realize too late we need your average Joe salt of the earth who mows his lawn and <laughs> keeps society going, you know, goes to the power plant and runs it. Uh, what do you think? Yeah. Um, so I think first of all, it's very unlikely that we're ever going to get a situation where, um, we just have two kinds of people, you know, it's stratified like the selected and the unselected or enhanced and unenhanced. There's already a huge distribution, as you know, of personality traits, intelligence, and so on. And all you can do is, first of all, select your partner, which is by far the most important thing, and then kind of around the edges, you know, a few points. Even if you had a perfect IQ predictor, you're, you're not going to be able to get anything out of range of the random assortment of, of the genes of you and your partner, unless you're talking about, you know, massive gene editing and so on. So there's that point to be made. 